The Book of Hebrews, a Commentary by David Benjamin. The Introduction. This Hebrews study is based on a series of messages I gave in 2019 on my YouTube channel. It turned out to be such an edifying study that I decided to transcribe it into a book. I am aware that some people prefer reading than listening, including myself. Hebrews has been neglected lately because it has come under attack by those who try to use its warnings to undermine the grace of God and put people in fear. Further confusion has come because some have said that this book is not for the church at all, but was for a different dispensation. As we'll see, Hebrews is clearly a book for the church, although it is addressed to believers who had a background in Judaism. This book is Pauline, if you will, in terms of how it reveals the ascended Christ and what he is doing now that he has sat down at the right hand of God. Paul was given to teach the doctrine related to the work of the enthroned Christ after he had passed through death and resurrection and placed his blood on the mercy seat. Much of that revelation is alluded to in the scriptures in types and shadows, but Paul is the one who was given to teach the doctrine clearly and expound it, as well as to reveal certain aspects of the truth that were previously a mystery hidden in God's counsel. There is some debate as to whether Hebrews is Paul writing or one of his disciples, but it's definitely Pauline because of some of the addresses from the last chapter that speak to familiar relationships that we see in other Pauline epistles and because of the content, I personally believe that it is authored by Paul. Usually, commentaries will say the writer of Hebrews. This book, like no other, reveals the heavenly ministry of Christ for the church to bring the many sons of God into glory. It shows us our security in Christ and places the entirety of the burden of keeping us from start to finish in Christ's hands. Hebrews teaches us that Jesus Christ has taken full responsibility to bring us into glory as the captain of our salvation. He is the apostle and high priest of our profession, our representative in heaven and the maintainer of our life on earth. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. He is our surety to guarantee that we will come into our inheritance. And he is the executor of the will, the testator of the estate of which he has made us heirs. He is the high priest after the order of Melchizedek to dispense his life into us. And by the working of his life in us, he is bringing us into a place where we match him in glory. Hebrews offers a unique perspective of how completely Christ is invested in us, not just in his work in death and resurrection, but also in his life as our high priest. His life on earth and his death and resurrection qualified him for a ministry that is uniquely revealed in this book. Without the book of Hebrews, we would not see the details of this role. It is a great tragedy that people relegate this book to another time or avoid it altogether. Ironically, the verses that seem to be the most terrifying when taken in context actually provide more comfort than almost any other place in the scripture. 
There is not another book that shows us how secure we are in Christ to this degree. I believe this study will be a great help to everyone who is hungry and thirsty to know how safe they are in the Lord's hands. Being fully assured in our salvation is the key to boldness before God and subsequent growth. It is the truth that makes us free in the Lord.